Okay, this is Racing Lawnmower Part 8. And in this video, we're going to be getting rid of this seat that sits really high. And we're going to be uh, cutting down a low bucket seat. That way, you can lower the center of gravity and not fall out. So the first thing we're going to need to do is figure out where to put this battery. Because obviously, if we're going to be dropping the seat, it's not going to fit right there. And it also touches the diff, or the pulley. And... We can't hey, so I got the battery on and uh that can't be good. The pulley is actually so low it burned a hole through the battery box. Luckily the battery is okay, but now I just gotta take this battery box out and then figure out how to rewire it. My plan is to put the battery right there in the floorboard where it'll be out of the way and all that. Oh yeah, it's got plenty of room to come down a little bit more. Get that center of gravity drop. That way, you know, we don't flip. And uh, I dropped, I lowered the diff, and it actually lowered it perfect amount where the belt doesn't touch anything. So that's great. Okay, so now the next step is to take the seat off and then I'll override the, uh, the safety switch in the seat because I'm going to add a, a tether kill switch to it instead because that'll probably be a little bit better and less complicated. Okay, so the seat is now off. And what I think I'm going to do is just. Uh, attach like the seat to this part of the frame down there and then just kind of like just cut it back up to here I want to keep the VIN number there and everything uh, I just got to figure out how to do that so the next step is is to take apart this stuff to see if I can reuse this old safety system in any way shape or form if I'm just or if I'm just gonna have to completely remove it which I probably will um, but it's no big deal and so I don't want to put waste okay so the next step is gonna be taking these wires and making these wires go right there. <clears throat> this really shouldn't be that hard. Uh, I just have to do like, the only hard part will be the native wire because it's bolted very close right there. But that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay, so I moved the battery and it went really good. Um, what I did pretty much is I took the positive in and then just ran it through the body under here back to where it comes from. And then there's a crack just big enough for the wire to fit through. So I just ran it through that and hooked it up to the battery. I haven't tightened it down yet or anything. And then the negative, I just unhooked it. And then uh, I put on a bolt right here on the body that holds the body together. And that worked just right. And then I still have the parking brake and everything. And it doesn't affect any leg room or anything like that. So now it's time to uh, work on dropping. Okay, this is day two. I got the um, sheet metal I'm using for the seat. I got a sharpie to uh, trace everything. Got the angle grinder. Need to uh, place the blades. And then I'm gonna trace my outline for the bottom. Uh, and then cut down on the body of the mower. And then get ready to uh, actually work. So now the next step is we're gonna take these springs out and then take this plate off right here. That way you can actually cut down on the body. Okay, so I got everything taken off of here. So now I'm just going to swap out the angle grinder blade and then just cut up around here. And then get the seat traced out and get it all worked out. And then work on building the seat mount. Okay, so I got all this cut out, right? Um, I'm going to have to do a little bit more trimming along the sides here. And then I'm going to have to remove this. And then figure out how to remount this because that holds the body up. But that shouldn't be too big of a deal. I went ahead and started working on the seat here. Uh, this is gonna be the bottom of it, and then this is gonna be the side. I'm just gonna uh, weld this on real quick, and then I'm gonna do the same for the other side. <clears throat> and then uh, cut the back. Okay, so I got the bucket seat made. It's not perfect by any means, but it'll do the job. And what I'll do is I'll take some steel and stuff uh, that's a little bit thicker. And I kind of reinforce it, mm. and then I need to, like I said, cut the body down just a little bit more, and then slide it in there. I'll take a, a piece of steel, uh, lay it across here as a bottom support, and then uh, then weld it in there, and it'll be good. Okay, so I got the bucket seat kind of just tacked in there right now. I'm gonna take some uh, steel tubing right here and uh, support it from like right here, right here, and right here, to right there. Just to make sure that this doesn't flex around too much. I have a uh, 
support beam underneath it there. Um, and then uh, we got it kind of just welded in for now. Uh, looking good. It's not the prettiest thing, but I mean, it'll work. Okay, so after about, I saw all the like four or five hours of work, it's finally done. Like, like I said, does not look the best whatsoever, but it will do the job. It's lowered the center of gravity by at least three inches, and uh, it'll be handy when taking corners. It won't fly out. And you sit a lot lower, so I mean, it just feels like sitting in a race car. I mean, just one step closer to racing it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this did take a while, but... You know, it was it was definitely worth it. And uh, anyways, see you on the next one.